Welcome to Daz Geek. Audio has come such a long way in Linux and I love it, specifically thanks to Pipewire. What I'm gonna show you today is how we do something that otherwise maybe audio engineers find easy, but is quite complex. It's hard to do in Mac, it's very hard to do in Windows, and it's super simple to do in Fedora thanks to the work of implementing Pipewire that they've done in Fedora. So what I'm gonna show you is how we actually take audio from Jitsi and we pipe that audio into Video Ninja. And the purpose is the hosts of Destination Linux podcast, which is a video podcast that's live as well and has a lot of differences between other podcasts out there that are just handling audio and maybe have a guest that joins. We have this video element and we have our patrons who sit in a Jitsi room and they need to be able to talk and interact with us while we're sitting in a completely separate software called Video Ninja. Why we separate the two is because of bandwidth limitations. If everybody was in Jitsi and we just hid everyone else's cameras, they would be there behind the scenes, which is a perk we give our patrons, but their bandwidth could end up impacting our bandwidth. And Jitsi has this thing where it has bandwidth issues, it starts turning off cameras and other software and things that we tried didn't have those exact symptoms, but had other issues in which bandwidth or cameras or other things were impacted. So the best solution, we need the host, the three hosts who have strong connections in one piece of software. We need our patrons who can have different types of connections or be all around the world in another piece of software, which is Jitsi. And we need those two connected. We need to pipe the audio between the two so they can hear the show live. They can also interact with us in between segments and things. So very unique use case there, but what I'm gonna show you today could be used for other things. Maybe you wanna pipe audio from Discord to Jitsi or some something else that you're doing with gaming or conferencing or other things, you could still utilize this and you're not gonna believe how simple it is to get going. So the first thing that you need to do is install QJack CTL. That's what this is right here. This is QJack CTL. You can see it says Jack Audio Connection Kit. Now prior in Linux, or other distributions that don't have pipe wire, you're probably gonna have to go and install Jack and get all of that set up and configured and everything else and it's a mess. But with Fedora and pipe wire, all you literally need to do is set up the operating system and install QJack CTL. From there, you're gonna click on this button called graph. Now, what this does is allows you to visually see the audio connections happening. So you can see I'm using OBS right now and it has a front left and front left and then front right and front right connection for the various streams that are coming in, whether that's my desktop audio or that's my audio directly. And they're both going into this PCM2902, which represents in my setup, because I have all this audio equipment, the Behringer mixer that I have. So if you don't have that mixer, your sound card, whatever you set as default would be there in place and you would see these lines visually going there. Now on the left-hand side, you can see I have two browser windows. One of those is gonna be for Jitsi and one of those is gonna be for Video Ninja. Once I actually go and I'm using something audio-based in that browser, you're gonna see that it's going to appear in this graph here. And that's what's gonna allow us to make those physical connections. So let me go ahead and set up Jitsi and set up Video Ninja, get logged into those, and then I'll show you how we pipe the audio between the two. Okay, so now you can see that I have Video Ninja up and it's actually created a connection here from the PCM2902 into Firefox. We have a front left, front right input and we have a front left, front right output here. And that's again connected here and then you have the speech dispatcher dummy thing that you can just ignore. I haven't engaged Jitsi yet. I've just set up Jitsi and I'm about to go into the room and what you're gonna see is this graph is gonna visually change as soon as an audio connection gets established through Jitsi. Now that I click allow here, boom, now all of a sudden LibreWolf pops up here. LibreWolf, LibreWolf, whatever you wanna call it, it pops up here. And that's the reason why I use two different browsers for this so I can visually see which one is which. And you technically can do this with the same browser. You could do this in Firefox with the same tabs. But for me, I like to visually be able to see the difference between the, the browsers and they're labeled differently here. So now in order to make sure that all of our audio is connected, there's no echo, there's no mix minus issues, those type of things. All I have to do is take the input from LibreWolf and put it to the output for Firefox. That's it. I'm just clicking the left click and I'm dragging now the output into the input 
and the output into the input. Now, everything is completely mapped. Our patrons can hear everything we're doing in Video Ninja. We can hear the patrons talking over there in Jitsi. And in Jitsi, I can just share a tab for the Video Ninja and they can actually see our video as well in real time with no delay. That's it. I wish I could tell you there's some magical incantations and special scripts and things that I created to do this, but that's how simple it is. If you have Fedora and Pipewire, you install QJack CTL, you click on graph, you take your two programs, watch them initiate, you make those connections by just left click and dragging those connections. And now you have audio crossing between these two applications, whether using Discord or anything else, you can do this as well. It's brilliant, it's amazing, and shows the awesomeness of Pipewire. You know what else is awesome though? The sponsor of this entire network and this channel, which is Bitwarden. I need you to go right now to bitwarden.com slash tux, that's slash T-U-X, and check out the greatest password manager on the planet there. When you're logging into all your different accounts, whether it's Discord, Jitsi, and other things, you're either using the same password, which is extraordinarily dangerous and opens you up for hackers, or you use something like Bitwarden where you're creating a separate username and separate password for every user. It even has random generation for usernames as well as random generation for passwords. And that's how you keep your passwords safe and it's end-to-end -end encrypted as well. They're amazing proponents of the open source community. Head to bitwarden.com slash tux and get started for free. You don't have to enter in credit card information or anything else. It's literally free from the start. They do have a $10 premium account option. That's $10 per year, which has been the price since they sponsored us years ago. They have not changed the price despite all this inflation and other stuff. Bitwarden has stayed the same price. They're awesome. They're amazing. They're open source. Bitwarden.com slash tux. Go check them out right now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe button. Check out the video on the Linux Gamer, Gardner Bryant's latest video, because I'm there with him at scale, and we discuss a bunch of Linux and geeky things. Got lots of new content coming your way. And until next time, get out there and fill your